was submitted to it as well. So we might actually cover that one. And it was um, why are strata fees so high? And this is something that we get lots of questions about. So it's a lady, uh, Maureen, uh, wrote in and said, I've been a homeowner before, but I'm thinking of buying a unit for the very first time in my life. I'm puzzled by strata fees. Some of the new two bedroom units are selling for 400,000 each, but the strata fees are over $1,000 per quarter. I can't understand why they're charging so much when there's no elevator, gymnasium, swimming pool or children's playground. In my experience, a new building usually has no problems until it's around 12 to 20 years old. Can you please explain why the hefty charge for strata fees? Yeah, so in new buildings, the average for a two better in terms of levies around Sydney, and I had discussed this with a property manager who manages over 20,000 properties in their business. It's around $820 to $850 a quarter. Okay, so, that's great. That's really good information. Thank you. Yeah, so, <laughs> right. So then you can work backwards from there. If it's less, great. If it's more, um, you need to understand why. And there's there's valid reasons in, in almost all cases. Um, you need to understand what you're buying um, and, and you may need to look at not just one apartment, but a variety of apartments that fits your requirements. Um, for two bedroom newer style apartments, the days of $500 a quarter levies they are pretty much over. Um, if you're buying in a brand new apartment and the agent says, oh, it's got lifts, a pool, a gym, and it's only $500 a quarter for the levies, something is awry, something is amiss. So you need to do your own homework on similar comparable buildings and what's covered. So behind every number, is, um, is a budget and an explanation, even on a new building. So the strata manager will have put together a dra or draft budget, but I'll give you some high level numbers about how, how we budget for brand new buildings. So for electricity, it's usually 300 to $400 a lot per annum, but it's less if it's got LEDs. For water, it's similar, three to $400 per lot per annum, but it's half if, about half of that if it's individually water metered. Lifts are about $6,000 per lift if it's a low rise, but it can go up to 10 to, 15, 10 to 12 if it's a high rise city building. And we do manage high rise city buildings in our business. And fires usually for a block of 50, it's usually around 5,000 a quarter. So you start pairing some of these numbers back and they're sig and, and then you, you can start to see where things are awry. So when we take on a building, we usually do a bit of a sensibility check around what they're paying and why to see if um, anything looks amiss and um, advising. But my advice to that person who's looking at buying, buying an apartment, look at a few, work out what you can afford. If the apartment's cheaper um, than other comparatives because the levies are higher, that's pretty, that, that happens in property. Um, if, if your running costs are higher, often that will impact the sales price because that gets reflected up front. But with a brand new building, you should be able to set it up in a way that's, um, that's quite cost effective. Um, yeah, so that everyone gets a good result. So, thousand a quarter for a four hundred thousand dollar apartment um that might not be achievable for that owner but they'll need to have a look at that but have a look at a few apartments and um look at the ref references and the reputations of the developer and the builder as well um just to make sure you're buying a good product excellent and the other thing that was mentioned in there in my experience a new building usually has no problems until it's around 12 to 20 years old now i think just around that with the defects that we've seen happening in buildings especially in new south wales and then the other thing is um, even if it does take 12 to 20 years uh, i mean people still need to be putting money aside for for those things that will crop up down the track don't they yeah, absolutely. So you've got legal requirements, the Capital Works Fund. So you've got two funds in Strata. You've got the Administrative Fund and the Capital Works Fund. So your Administrative Fund is the things that I just discussed, which are the day-to-day -day things, your water, your electricity, your cleaning, your gas, all those things that happen regularly month by month. Um, and the maintenance contract lift if you've got one, pumps, garage door, those sort of things. So all those contracts are admin fund, administrative fund. 
the day to day. However, you've got a capital works fund, which is essentially like your savings account. So you're saving up today for repairs that will come forward, uh, will, they'll come up in the future years. So things like painting should be done every seven to 10 years, depending on the quality of the original paint job. So you need, and that's usually the biggest ticket item for most strata buildings. And that can range into the hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more. So you need to be chipping away each year. And the Act in Strata in New South Wales now says you have to. You have to have a plan for 10 years. You also have to review that plan every five. So you need to, um, you need to work out what um, expenditure is coming up. 98% of the buildings that I'm involved with have someone independent and expert in this area. It's a trade, much like the same as electrician or a strata manager. There's people that do these plans, the capital works fund plans, and they do a lot of them and they're quite, they're very good at it. And um, it gives you the baseline on what your strata should be expecting to spend over the next 10 to 15 years. Excellent. And if you do happen to buy a building and the levies are really low, uh, what what, um, what kickback can you can you expect from something like that, Rob? Like, Rob, what would happen down the track if um if you do actually end up doing that? Yeah, it's funny you should say that. I just walked out of a budget meeting with one of our buildings that's just about to spend two point one million dollars on their facade. Um, so they have had to increase their levies more than double. So their levies have been up around the four to five thousand dollar per quarter mark for the last three years. They did a lift upgrade, they did a facade. So that was due to problems in those first 10 to 15 years not raising enough money and that was um that's now come back to haunt them um now but with good news is we've got enough money which is a beautiful thing to do all the things that we need to do but you you are likely to have problems in years 10 to 20 because lifts have a 20 to 25 year life before they need to have a major renovation and most of those lift major lift renovations are in the order of 250,000 to uh, seven, 375,000 per lift so if you've got five lifts and you've got 300 grand in the bank in year 20 um it's it's going to be a difficult conversation at the agm so yeah